I don't do interviews. Yeah? No, I do conversation. I love that. You ran a mile with no shoes on? It's winter else. Randall gets the flush. What I wake up and think about every day. Julius Randall from downtown. I don't care. I want to win. Let me ask you this first before we start. So your son, I see him at away games too. He goes to all the games. He don't go to all of them. But a lot of them. He go to a lot of them. He, uh, but it's a little different now because he started school. He in oh. kindergarten now, so he can't travel like he used to. And his name is Kaiden. Yeah, Kaiden. That's it. Just that's got to be special for you. Yeah, it's it's super special. You know, me growing up in a single parent home. Uh, my mom did everything, you know, and, and provided everything for us. So uh, to be able to have my son experience right. me living out my dream and just, you know, uh, him be able to be there every step is pretty cool for me. Yeah, for it sure. is. That is very good. But now with your mom, you know, I spoke to her, mm -hmm. and she's she was a heck of a basketball player, wasn't she? Yeah, she she was a great. Uh, I don't know if she could score, but she was a great rebounder. She said <laughs> she said they used to call her Moses Malone. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she also told me she used to shut you down too. Oh man, yeah, she used to have me hot. So it used to be <laughs> her and my older sister, and then me and one of my best friends from back home uh, when I was a kid. And they were older than us and obviously, you know, bigger. And yeah, they used to like block our shot, throw us on the ground. <laughs> I used to be crying, it used to be hot. Yeah, then I got older, she couldn't do it no more. <laughs> you know, but I have never met a great athlete that can handle losing. Right, yeah, that's that's me all the way. Uh, <laughs> To like, it's bad. Pump lost it. Randall dives on it. Ball still loose. Randall to Brunson. Brunson throws it down. And the Knicks take a three point lead. I'll tell you a funny story, man. Like, uh, during the pandemic, it was actually great because it was just me and my family. We would be in and I would cook because I could cook. Yeah. And uh, all we could do was that and play, play games, like board games and all that different type of stuff. And when I tell you, my competitive spirit, like people going to bed <laughs> mad, <laughs> yeah, it, it would get to it would get to that. Like I don't care, I want to win. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> He's going to be able to pick Kobe Bryant's brain, and Kobe Bryant is a cerebral student of the game as there is. That's going to be great for Julius Randle. When you were out there with Kobe, what are the some of the things that you picked up from him? That competitive spirit. Mm -hmm. So I grew up watching him. Um, so I guess that kind of like me seeing that mm -hmm. and just seeing how he competed. But I think his, uh, his leadership style, uh, as far as how he was able to connect with everybody um, mm -hmm. and understand people and under the individuals, whether it's taking dudes out to dinner or, you know, cussing. He cussed me out a couple times and that was just his way of figuring out how to push you, you right. know, how to push your buttons, how are you going to react to certain situations. So took a lot from his leadership style for sure. Oh, Finds Randall. Great pass. Mamba. So has that sort of same leadership style that you picked up there come about here? Yeah, it definitely has. Uh, I'm not really one to cut somebody out or whatever it is, but like if you're messing up, we all got to hold each other accountable. But I think it's just as important, you know, if you see somebody doing the right thing to, to encourage them and let them know that they're doing the right thing because that's motivation as well. Yeah, it is. Everybody needs that boy. Yeah. Everybody needs that. Yeah. Tell me about your work habits. When I saw you the other night, man, you look different. Mm -hmm. You look slimmed and trimmed. And yeah. Is this the best shape you've been in, in quite some time? I would say so for sure. Um, that was kind of number one thing. Last year, I didn't finish the season uh, as healthy as I wanted to. And the number one thing for me uh, going into the offseason before anything was making sure I was in the best shape possible um, and just feeling as healthy as possible. So I uh, got with my trainer and, you know, obviously tweaked the diet and all that different type of stuff, sleep, hydration, and taking it from there. You know, if you talk about Kobe and you talk about Michael, those guys' thing was no one's gonna outwork me. Mm -hmm. So when I'm out doing my thing, working out or whatever it is, ain't nobody doing more than me. Mm -hmm. You have that same sort of attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, because when I, when I was reading that you ran a mile with no shoes on. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's just like, that's more like a mechanics thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, everything like kind of starts with the foot. So uh, to be able to, a lot of stuff that we do in the weight room or like I do with my trainer and stuff is a lot of things, there's a lot of barefoot stuff. Wow. I mean, that whole work ethic thing, like you said, I, I've gotten a lot from, 
obviously watching Cole, but I got a lot of it from my mom. Yeah. You know, um, my mom, like I said, a single parent, I learned a lot from her and how she worked. And, you know, we didn't always have everything, uh, but she made me and my sister feel like we had the world. She's a wonderful woman. Yeah. I just enjoyed so much talking to her for that Mother's Day piece that I did last time. Yeah. It was like, man, gosh, she was somebody to look up to. Yeah, you know, yeah she, absolutely. Yeah, she was really, really, really wonderful. Yeah. So the teams that you've played in, the places you've played, when you were growing up, did you realize how important playing in New York could be? <laughs> no, nah, honestly, uh, I, I, I didn't realize it at all until I, the first time I played in the Garden. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, like you, you understand New York basketball and the legends and you know the parks and all the stuff that come from New York, but I didn't understand like Knicks basketball. I always said like I was like, man, I want to play for the Lakers. That's all. Only play, only team I want to play for. Like Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. And uh, then I played in Madison Square, and I was like, well, if I play here, man, like this is, <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at all about that. So I knew, uh, you know, when I had the opportunity to come here, you know, I jumped at it for sure. New York is the mecca of basketball. It is one of the greatest places I've ever seen to play any sport. And uh, to win here uh, oh. is, is really what drives me every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about the hate losing, like to win here, uh, it's what I wake up and think about every day. Like, what can I do to take a step forward to win here? Uh, because I don't think there's a better place in the league to win than here. You know, I don't think there's a bigger challenge either, so. No, I, and, and the thing is, it's win or else. Mm -hmm. It's not like we almost, almost yeah, just. they don't care. No, yeah, we don't yeah, care yeah. about almost. We're talking about we, we, when it's time for the playoffs to be going on, we want to root for our team. Yeah, exactly. So that had to be great when you all make the playoffs. Yeah, it had to be. That, that was great, and it was a great learning experience. You know, it was a great experience uh, to see what it took to get there, mm -hmm. um, and a great learning experience of being in it. So, you know, that's what we strive for every day. As you look around yourself now, the team you got together, you confident and feeling, feeling happy with this group? Yeah, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. Um, you know, a lot of things take time, uh, chemistry-wise and stuff like that. And uh, I'm really excited. You know, I like from day one, uh, training camp, before training camp, I've liked what we've done and how we've looked. So uh, we just got to keep our foot on the gas, you know, keep going. I have a thing I want you to finish. Finish the sentence for me. Julius Randle is... Man, I'm God's child. That's how I look at myself first before anything. That's a great answer. Yeah. That's a great answer. <laughs>